Hi there. It's Coach Lisa. Welcome back to my channel, PTL Empowerment. I know it has been a while, but there have been so much going on. But I give God thanks today. And I'm just reminding you to like, subscribe, and send me your comments. PTL Empowerment. We are here to produce, to transform, and to lead by example. And today, I've come to tell you that you need to level up into your now. Level up into your now. All you have is now. You don't know what tomorrow holds, but we know who holds tomorrow. And sometimes we get so burdened and so caught up with our tomorrows and what we need to accomplish for our tomorrows and what isn't happening now concerning our tomorrows. But right now, I just want to encourage you that if you, but, if you would but focus on your now, and level up to your now. Level up to where you are. Level up to what you have now. Level up to what you are doing. Get into your present state. Stop worrying about tomorrow. Stop worrying about how things are going to pan themselves out. Let go of the worries, let go of the concerns, let go of everything that seems to be clouding your mind at this present moment concerning your tomorrow. Beloved, the more you deplete yourself worrying about things that you have no control over is the more you deny yourself of a rich present. What's happening now? Breathe in and accept where you are now. And wherever you are now, begin to level up to that place. Begin to declare that your today is going to be great. Begin to declare that you are where you need to be. And as you accept where you are, I guarantee you, the stress will be removed. The worry will disappear. The frustrations will go and you will begin to enjoy your present state, your present being. You will in, begin to enjoy where you are by, sip, by simply accepting that you have life, that you have breath, and that there is a reason that God has given you today. And as long as you come into unison of your day, allow the oneness to come, allow the acceptance to come, it brings a peace to you. It transcends you, transcends you into another place, a place where you will just be thankful, where you will appreciate your now, where you would understand that all things are definitely working together for good. That it doesn't matter. Somehow and some way. Don't matter how 
negative the current situation is, as long as you trust God and believe God, he has a way of causing it to work together for your good, beloved. So how do you level up? I want to share with you 12 ways that you can begin to level up and appreciate your life. Appreciate where you're at. Appreciate your state of being. Just being free of the burdens, of the anxieties, of the worries, of the cares, of the fears. So, delve in and let's deal with those 12 things that you can implement in your life that will help you to level up in your now. The first one is feeding your spirit. You need to feed your spirit man. Whichever one you're feeding is either your, your spirit or your flesh. If you're feeding your flesh with all the fleshly desires, with all the cares of life, with all the concerns, with all the doubts, with all the things that you need not be attracting or allowing to come into you, then that flesh is going to overpower the spirit. And trust me, that is where defeat, that is where negative thoughts, that is where discouragement, that is where fear, that is where anxiety will step in. So you need to feed your spirit. Feed your spirit the right thoughts. Starve your flesh from those negative thoughts. Feed your spirit with thanksgiving. Starve your flesh from complaining. Feed your spirit with enlightenment and empowerment. St starve your flesh from doubts and failures and procrastination. Feed your spirit with love, joy, peace, and hope. Starve your flesh from sadness, unhappiness, those feelings of unmet expectations, of hopelessness. Feed your spirit with the word of God that gives life, that is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword. Starve your flesh from negative thoughts, negative news, gossips. When you feed your spirit with the right things and you starve your flesh from those negative things, then your spirit is able to overpower and control that, that flesh. Number two, build your faith up. How do you build your faith up? You build your faith up by doing those things that you believe that you cannot do. You build your faith up by step taking those baby steps and going beyond your own limits. That's right. I said going beyond the limits that you placed on yourself or society may have placed upon you. 
Number three, speak what you desire. You see, we have uh, the authority to bind and to loose. So when we speak, we speak with the authority that will release through the Spirit of God that which we are trusting and hoping for. And as long as we come into alignment with the will of God, it will, it shall manifest for you. Number four, control what goes here. Control your thoughts. And I would have alluded to, for the first one, you can do that by feeding your spirit. Once you're feeding your spirit the right nourishment, then you're able to control your thoughts. Once you're allowing positive affirmations, positive things to get into you, then you are aligning yourself with the right thoughts. Number five, let praise, thanksgiving, and worship be a part of your daily life. Let praise, thanksgiving, and worship. How do you do that? Every morning that you arise, you give God thanks for life. You give him thanks for health. You give him thanks for all the benefits that he has given you and I'm sure he has given you many benefits when you compare yourself to someone else or some other nation that don't have as much as you have be thankful for what you have because when you are able to be appreciative for what you have then you open the door to receive more from the father number six Pray regularly in the spirit. We are gifted with tongues. And those tongues are to build us up in our most holy faith. So at those moments, sometimes when you're praying, the English language, it is so limited that we break out into the gift of tongues, which Jesus understands and which takes us into his presence in an even greater way. Number seven, remove baggage from your life. Any excess baggage that you may be carrying, it is weighing you down. It is stopping you from being able to fulfill that which the father wants you to fulfill so you need to do an introspection and see if there any excess baggage that you are currently carrying that can be a hindrance to your growth to your momentum to your emergence because you don't want anything or anyone to hinder you from doing that which God has called you to do. So get rid of that excess baggage, all right? Beloved, you don't need that excess baggage. It holds you back. It weighs you down. It depletes you. It steals from you. Number eight, don't be limited. Don't limit yourself based on you know your family situation your financial situation your work environment take every possible limit off of yourself and trust god that if a door becomes open if an opportunity comes up that you will not limit yourself and say i can't because but you will say i can because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So remove those limitations that you may have set for yourself 
or someone may have placed upon you. All right? Number nine, focus on your strengths. So, too often we, we focus on our weak areas. And people admire us for our strengths. Focus on those strengths. What can we do to cause those strengths to grow even more? What can we do to empower those strengths? What can we do to enhance those strengths? Focus. Let your focus be on your strengths. Because when you focus on your strengths, there is a joy and a motivation. Because this is the thing that you love to do. This is the thing that you get most of your joy from. So focus on that. And you, you would realize how that would just shift the atmosphere within. And you will begin to enjoy life a bit more. Number 10, look for ways to be a blessing. It is said that it is more blessed to give than to receive. How can you bless someone today? It could be your beautiful smile. Come on, smile with me today. It could be your beautiful smile. It could be your warmth. It could be uh, your embrace. It could be your encouragement. It can be just being there without even verbally saying anything to be a support to someone who is in pain and grief. So it doesn't always have to be financial. It could be support in prayer. It could be a support by saying, you know what? I'll prepare lunch for you today. However that looks like for, you know, the person that God is leading you to be a blessing for. Just make yourself available to be a blessing. Number 11. Don't stop going after your dreams. No matter how it looks or how it feels. Sometimes we give up on our dreams when the way gets difficult. When it gets challenging. But that's the time that we need to press in even more. Because we understand that there is opposition. And when we're coming, when we're going after that which God has placed in our spirit, we have an adversary, the devil, who doesn't want you to achieve that. He doesn't want you to be successful. He doesn't want you to come into your blessed place. So he would put every opposition and hurdle in your way to stop you. But you got to remember that you and God are a majority. And once it's in your heart to go after, beloved, go after it with all your might, with all your soul, with all your passion. Even if you fall. Get back up and go again. And lastly, number eight, number 12, receive any mistakes or failures as lessons learned. None of us are perfect. And we won't always get it right. And we wouldn't always do it right. And we wouldn't always be, you know, accepted or praised. But, and things aren't always going to go our way. But when those times come and you don't get it right, just look at it as a learning experience. As a lesson learned, how could I do it? How could I have done, done it better? How could I do it better next time? What do I need to do with? What do I need to change within me? How do I need to readjust or reapproach? I'm telling you, beloved, if you put these 12 steps in place, you would see how 
you will begin to level up, level up, level up in your walk with God. You will see how your days feel so much more lighter. And you are at peace. The joy of the Lord will be your strength. And you will look at difficult situations and say, you know what? It's all right. I, I'm going to get through this. So it's time for you to level up. I want you to comment and say, it is my time to level up in my now. Comment and say, it is my time to level up in my now. God knows you. He knows where you're at. He knows what you need. And he's just waiting for you to make that first step. To reach out. To launch out. And you'll see that turnaround in your life. God bless you. And I'm encouraging you to hold on and keep moving forward. Keep pressing forward. Because success is within the horizon for you. You will make it. You will overcome. I have confidence in you. Yes, I do. And God, he even has greater confidence in you. So I want to release a prayer over you before I go today. So Father, in the name of Jesus, for those who are listening under the sound of my voice, to this video. I pray, oh God, that you will touch them. I pray, oh God, that the anointing, oh God, will come upon their lives in such a strong and a rich way. Lord God, that it will push them into their purpose. Father God, that they would begin to understand, oh God, you in a greater way, Father. And mighty God, they will begin to level up in ways that is even beyond their wildest comprehension. I pray Break every plot and plan of the enemy concerning their lives. I cast down every high thing that wants to exalt itself against the will and the purpose concerning their lives today. And I speak uh, the blessings of God that make us rich and out of no sorrow. I speak life in the name of Jesus. Oh God, anyone, oh God, that is dealing with a difficult situation today. I ask mighty God that your Holy Spirit uh, will connect with them uh, and bring a shift oh God to their spirit uh, and bring transformation to them uh, I thank you for the emergence uh, oh God of their souls that will come alive with you God and mighty God that they will begin to shine and be all that you've called them to be thank you Abba for all that you are doing in their lives. Thank you for completing your mighty work in and through them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. And if that prayer, you felt the presence of God in that prayer. I'm telling you, change is on its way for you. You are beginning to level up even now. So God bless you. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to this video, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, um, pardon me, I'm encouraging you to subscribe and uh, like it. And if you know that this can be a blessing to someone else, I'm going to ask you to share this video. God bless you and have a beautiful day. Bye.